How's it going, Ernie Jers here, and I'm going to be trying out the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for the first time ever. This is really my first Witcher game ever, so <laughs> please be nice to me, Witcher veterans. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary. Good, so I can go back, where you'll also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. To disable tutorial messages, go to options. No thanks, I like this tutorial stuff, I'm gonna need it. So, so far, I watched some uh, cinematics. Game looks beautiful, man. And, uh, uh oh, minimap and objectives. Uh, the minimap in the upper right hand corner of your display shows your current location and the surrounding area. Underneath the minimap, you'll find the objectives for your active quests. I see. Use your Witcher sense to find the key in the bedroom, and I can also speak to this young lady as well, this sexy lady. Use your Witcher sense. So, we got this here. I can go examine. Kind of clothes that aren't black or white. Mm -hmm. Undergarments. Undergarments? Ha <laughs> ha! This sexy young lady thing right here. So, we can extinguish this. Hey ya! And we'll turn it back on. Houdini. And what can we do to you in my Witcher sense, my lady? I don't see anything. What see, will you I say to me? Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Let's I wanna stay with you a little longer. Let's be unreasonable. You're right. I should go see Siri. You know what, baby? Let's be unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. <laughs> Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Damn! This dude's got away with the ladies. Wow, man, what the hell? Well, uh, Witcher Sense, how much range does this have? I don't know how much range it has. Is there something? I see a triangle over here. I saw another triangle. Hiya! All right. Ah, is there other things? I guess whatever is uh, red will be my Witcher stuff, and I can extinguish, I guess, any fire I wanted to out here. Oh, yeah. Back on. Alright, um, jump. Oh, we got some Witcher stuff over here. So, it's still glowing red from when I first looked at it, I guess. I don't need to keep using a Witcher sense to activate it. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Jeez. Um, what else is glowing red for me? This is the little bath I was in. Can I go back in there? Yeah. Ugh. Looks like I can't get wet again. Uh, ooh. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Ah, yellow. Got some yellow. Ah, the key. To unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press X. But there's more Witcher stuff. Lilac and gooseberries. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. <laughs> Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Was there something in that bucket? There was something here I could do. Oh, whatever. Let's just do uh, our stuff. How do you even run? So, alright, L2 is uh, my Witcher sense. L1 is... Oh, shit. Uh, I can admit it. Well, you know, let's just let the tutorial teach us. Let's stop messing around. Let's just do whatever the tutorial says. So now we've got the key. And now it is unlocked. And I am a king, so open both of the doors. Now look at this. These graphics are beautiful, man. Can't wait to get out to the open world. Show me what you've got down here, woman. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. 
The old witcher, is this my dad or something? Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, master. Oh. Are these lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. <laughs> After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her, we've spoiled her. Uh the well why would I wouldn't why would I get mad at her? Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Oh. Blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Apologies not enough. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come Damn. On. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Begin tutorial, yes! Of I need course. to learn. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Use. Oh, press X while facing a ladder, begin climbing it. Okay. My character's running on his own. Oh, circle button will get me to jump over to, to climb because that's the jump button. Makes sense. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Careful falling from a great height, it can lead to injury or even death. Siri, cut it out. X, I guess? Yeah. And do I hold down to do it? Oh, look at that. I have to climb myself. The hell is that floating there? Oh. Game glitch? Oh. Uh. So I gotta wait till they get down a little bit. Can I jump off the ladder? Let me see something. Son of a fucker. Get up there. All right. Can I jump off the ladder? Let's uh, right here. Circle. Oh, yeah, you can. You might get hurt, though, but good to know. Uh, while running, leap to the other board. 
What do you mean leap to the other board? There's nothing here to leap on. Wait, that was part of the tutorial up there. Wasn't they wanted me to jump uh this? Motherfucker. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Awkward jump, but we made it. I guess that's where they wanted me to jump. It's good to practice the jumps now, so later on I can know how much I can jump. You know, I can jump off this. Um, uh, let's keep going. I want to talk to you, you little shit. Hold while to sprint. Oh, oh, we got our sprint. X. Where am I going? Wrong way. Uh, is this going to hurt me? Oh, yeah. I Wow, I think I lost half my... Wow. I lost half my health. Uh-oh. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you want to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. You could have said he did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. You won't won't wheeze a lot of his out of this. Um, let's see. Are they not going to weasel? Or we could have said that they did the exercise. So you uh, did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Damn. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dump. <laughs> Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I didn't... I lost half my health. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Yes, let's start with fundamentals. Good I need to learn physics. all this. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Tutorial me on everything. I'm a noob. He smiled at that sword like you want to have a relationship. Oh my god. So you got to be careful what you jump off. This is not a Skyrim, okay? You cannot just jump off stuff. My health is, I don't even know if it regens. Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds. Be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants to match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies. Witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords, one steel for fighting humans and non-humans, other silver for slaying monsters. Ah, interesting. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs, that's the name of our magic I'm assuming, are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Okay, uh, press left to draw your steel sword. Okay, and and to sheave it, you you hold right or. Okay, all right, gotcha. Press all R three to select or deselect a target. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directly toward it. Alright, so R3, gotta remember that. You don't have to select the target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific opponent. Quick cuts. One, two, three. Who's next? Tit, tit, tit. 
Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking. Wait for him to attack. What's gonna happen when he attacks? Oh shit. Uh, using L and press. Okay. So X is the roll if they're like a huge attack, but if it's a regular attack, hold L2 to parry. Okay, so parry is good. I think parry is going to work well against humans. I don't know about demons and uh, monsters and stuff. Just before your opponent strikes to perform, press L2 just before they strike to perform a counterattack. Oh, shit. Creep up on him. Oh, oh yeah. Uh creep, creep, creep. Oh, the game is slowing down for me though. They're they're like helping me. Uh press L1 to open the quick access menu. Select uh Shwen sign or Ken sign using L and X to make it Okay. Uh here it is to make it active. Activate it of R2. What does that do? Consume? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Don't attack me yet. <laughs> oh, wait. What the? Wait, what is, uh... I don't know what I just did. The, it, it protects you. Uh, I'm trying to figure out... You cannot do that now. You can't attack. Press L1 and open the quick access menu. Um, the Igni sign. Alright, so this one is a protective shield. Over here we deal fire damage. And R2. And this one that has a chance to apply a burning effect on your opponent. Can you hold it down? And Oh, there is no holding down. You can just use it. And uh, I see the cooldown of it too on the top left. By the little triangle, the little yellow meter. I'm pretty sure it won't regen this fast in a real battle. But it's got some really good range. Let's see. No, it doesn't have good range. <laughs> All right, uh, new menu. Um, Ard. Tech, tech, uh, telekinetic blast. Um, okay. Yeah. Boost rota. That's pretty much what I'm getting out of this. Now off my mouth though, but it doesn't look like it's a it's a, a damaging move. It looks like it's a stun, and then you can go in and do all. That's a good move. I may uh, use that. Oh my, my health went up. Um, the axle influences the opponent's mind. All right, cast it. Yeah. Can really muddle your mind. It can temporarily disorient. Oh man, that is that is good. I guarantee the cooldown on that is really really long though. Oh wow, he can. Stop showing off, Geralt. All right, stop stop showing. I just wanted to try. Uh, the Erden sign. This is gonna be a magic trap. I threw it on the ground, and what happens if he steps on it? That slows anyone who enters its effect. Oh, he is slowed. Ah, slowing them is good. I can uh, activate like an other spells. Look at him. Look how slow he is. I, I think that's him being slowed. Whatever. Um, over here, training bomb. Used by witches during training. Select the bomb. And press R1 because I'm locked on to him. It'll go straight towards him. Okay. Sweet. So we've learned some stuff. Uh, those are going to be other abilities. I guess maybe they're all going to be bombs. And this is just the one I'm going to have just to, to like know how to use. Uh, stand in the spot indicated. Aim the bomb at one of the... Oh! Let me see if I can aim at the center. And would that be... Good enough. Can I aim there? That is actually really good range. The combat tutorial is not over. If you want, you can continue training with Vesemir. To stop training, simply sheath your sword. Um, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to block another attack of his. Oh shit! He like told. Oh oh. This is this is real combat here. Oh oh. Oh man, I am, I am bad at this. I am bad at this. All 
All right, all right, all right. We got we gotta get used to this, man. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh, blocking is gonna be rough. Blocking these attacks is gonna be rough. Come on. And does it? It looks like it pauses the game temporarily. Uh, fire damage, protective shield, uh, trap, influences their mind, telekinetic blast. Oh, no! Get out of here. I need to master this shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Let me get. I gotta get a little better at uh, blocking these, these strikes here. All right. If I can block three more, I'll be happy. All right, that's two. That's two. One more. One more. Oh, son of a bitch! I gotta block three in a row. That's that's. Uh, I gotta restart. Ah, gotta restart. Ah, oh god, he's kicking my ass. One, I think. No, that's one. That's one. Two. Come on, I need, I need the practice. Oh, we got the three. We got the three. Oh, oh. <laughs> he still came after me. Good job, kid. Whoa. You really showed him, kid. <laughs> Siri, get down here. Uh oh. A little she-devil. As soon as she's back, we'll send her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Uh oh. What the? What happened? Is there a person in there? Oh shit! Tutorial mode, I'm not ready for this shit. No. <gasps> what just happened? The kid's dead? Oh, it was just a fucked up dream. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. I just about pooed my pants. Maybe that did really happen, and this is a few years later. I didn't pay attention to the, the timeline. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Hmm. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I'd rather not talk about it. Rather not talk about it. Gotcha. So, time to hit the road? Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. 
Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> That's private. Very private. Aha. Uh -huh. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Uh oh. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Ghouls. Now it's time, guys. Time to put all of our training to action. And maybe after this battle, this may be it. Life on the continent and in the skillage? Mm, Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land and those it spares lives in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads. Oh, their heads, their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. So, how do I know when I have my silver sword? Ooh. Oh, oh shit! Aya, aya, aya! Gotta watch out! Ah. All right, all right. Lock on to this one. Use our abilities. I want that one. Disrupt his mind. Oh, shit. Block one of his attacks. Come on, come on. Fuck with me, man. Let's disorient him. Ugh. I think I did it. I think I did it. Uh... Oh, 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 no, no, I did not. Oh, what the hell? You Can you not counter these guys? Come on, you want this? You want this? Woo! Woo! Uh, striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require a consume adrenaline points. And consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. I'd assume so. Vitality and regeneration. You can you can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. Oh, what the hell? While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. I'm playing on normal right now, so I'm, I should be able to uh, meditate. Uh, food and drinking can be placed in your consumable slots. Uh, for quick use turn, come up, press up or down to consume. Oh, that's good. You have some food equipped in your in your consumables. Press up and eat it. Is it going to regenerate my health fully? Just a little piece. I'll eat something else. Can I eat anything that they dropped? I guess not. All right. Uh, here's my horse. Let's take a look at this beautiful scenery. Witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, girls can always count on his horse. Roach. Wow, you named it Roach? To have Roach come with you, double press L3. Guide your horse's movement with L potions from their blood and X to move to canter. Aha! So guys, I think this is gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to try it out for the first time. I'm probably not gonna do a playthrough of this game. I'm probably just gonna play. If you want to see more gameplay though, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to share some more gameplay. Um maybe just hunting monsters. Look at my horse's red eyes. Oh my god, you saw that? Oh, there. Wow. That's crazy. I got red eyes, too. I don't know. They look kind of red there. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the future if I, well, if I decide to upload more videos. <laughs> well, till then, see ya.